this is an important question. I, we've probably talked about it before, but I can't remember the answers, so I'm excited to hear them again. What's your favorite BCU movie? The Barbie Cinematic Universe. <laughs> oh, oh, it's Princess and the Popper, no doubt. Yeah, that's mine too. <laughs> I could take flight, but would it be right? <laughs> uh, Swan ah. Lake for me. Iconic, one of the firsts. It's the Swan Lake. Are that or Rapunzel? Yeah, that one's that one's also one of the firsts, is it not? Okay, anyway, Castle, what's your uh, BCU movie? Um, first of all, it's Batman, so jot that down. I truly thought you meant DCU for a long time. No, BCU. I thought you meant MCU for a second. <laughs> no, I was she like, said. I, know, I, I watched you guys, and I was like, they don't. They are not cultured. Um, no, uh, clearly. <laughs> My favorite, and this is the OG OG, it's fucking Nutcracker. That's my favorite. That was the first Barbie movie. And, like, I just love the end because it's bittersweet because they get separated at the end. The fucking dance moves. But Prince and the Popper, we watched that how long ago? We got, like, tipsy and watched Prince and the Popper. We all watched that. Yeah. We all watched it We did. We didn't do, like, any sort of episode for it. but It's uh, still good, though. It still still holds up. The music. I just like every song. Like, I'm just like you. You're just like me. <laughs> that was a haunting rendition of that. <laughs> now imagine that slow. Uh, over I do want to. Girl like you. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, licensed by Mattel. <laughs> <laughs> haunting. Hmm. I don't. And re- then there's a. <laughs> the I'm just like you. <laughs> like just the I've got no strings on. Yeah, me. that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I was like, oop. I can, I can see that piano note. Disney, Hi, Disney, where request, are you? <laughs> this is a request for any of you, uh, like music mixers out there or producers. Please make a like haunting version of "I'm Just Like You." If you're really bored, what is the task for you? Do we it. will pay you nothing. Do it, coward. In return, I don't remember Swan Lake. Who was the one of one of you that said Swan Lake? Me. I don't have like as firm of a grasp of it. As I think. It's because I had the DVD and then they're like, do you want to learn the constellations? The constellation sickness, which is the swan, swan lake. Get it. And I was just like, iconic, amazing. I'm <laughs> learning so much from this DVD. How old were you? <laughs> I don't know. Probably 23. Eight. Wow. S- <laughs> Star Weeb at, tw- at eight. How formative. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's just because I had it and it really like hit me. Once, I liked her. Once the fairy topia started to be fucking, once the topia like movie started to be a thing, that's when I stopped watching. That's fairy when, topia that's when was she the last me. one I watched, and then they tried to make sequels of fairy topia, and I was like, "This no. is weird." There's like mermaid topia, and I'm like, "No, no, no, no." Car- fairy topia is kind of cool though, because Bibble's awesome. He's like a fairy version of that's uh, you, Sully. dude. That's, that's you. you. Dude. That's fucking you. <laughs> you voiced him. <laughs> We're gonna, uh-huh. we're gonna, Katzel, you're you're a better editor than I at pictures because you, you put out those memes so quick. Uh, you get a picture of what was his name? Bibble, mm-hmm. Babble, Bibble, Bibble. Bibble. You get a picture of Bibble and take off his face and put Antonio's face on it. Say less. <laughs> I got you. Excellent. Coming soon to the Instagram. <laughs> Katzel's doing it right now. <laughs> y'all welcome to sit down loser we're watching a movie my name's dahlia i'm sky i'm antonio and i'm Ketzel. and we're just four really fast blue hedgehogs who watch movies that everyone else has watched except one of us is a loser who hasn't today we're watching a movie that had a character design in the first trailer so bad that the whole internet bullied the studio to redesign him sonic the hedgehog released in 2020 directed by jeff fowler and today's loser is Dahlia! We knew this from previous episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Look how quickly this episode jumped up. Oof. It zooted up. Zooted. zooted. But at least you'll be able to watch the sequel with me and Sky when it comes out. Anar. It's coming out soon. Oh, so you guys want to go see this one with me? <laughs> oh, okay. Look. I because see. it's the last film that Jim Carrey is starring in. He said that he's going to quit acting after that. What? Yeah, what? Yeah. You didn't see that? No. Didn't see that? I did not hear I mean, this news. Yeah, he, I heard the news about Bruce Willis. I, yeah, I heard that too. 
Yeah, he's like, I no longer, I'm done with acting. I think I'm good now. I mean, after, after playing Dr. That. Robotnik, you can't go any higher than that. You can't go any it's, higher. It's a fantastic role. I think he was born for it above all other roles so yeah, far in so. life. I wouldn't know because I haven't seen this movie that I'm about to watch I can't right now. See. I think 2022 <laughs> I is a read. big year for us uh, when it comes to Jim Carrey because we've already done one. We're doing this one and then there's another one coming. Ace Ventura? Hmm. Pet Detective? Is that, I don't know where you put it on the timeline, but is that coming? Truman I don't Show. know if it's this year. Also. <gasps> oh, I think that's what's on there. Oh, okay. Love. Excited. Okay. Why do we pick anyway. this one though? <laughs> yeah. I feel like I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> I, I told Scott, you need to get- Y'all won't stop bullying me. I, and I will say this. I will say this one last time. I don't even want to hear it. Back. I will say this one last time. I do not. <laughs> can't believe I'm yelling this in, into in a this microphone. house. <laughs> into a microphone. I can hear it echoing. I do not want to fuck Sonic. I do not want to fuck Sonic. I can't wait to edit that. <laughs> <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Um, I'm just yeah. saying, <laughs> when Bill Clinton denied the Monica Lewinsky thing, he did deny it for a very long time, you know, and it was actually true. What a true. cultural moment. Yeah. You're not wrong. I did but not I think have in this sexual case, relationships with that hedgehog. In this case, I believe you. Thanks, Dahlia. <laughs> well, uh, I don't think they've actually happened, so that's a true statement. With sexual relations? I don't think that... With the of hedgehog? course not. How is that supposed to happen? He's an animated character. In a movie. And in this, he's a child. How old so, is Sonic? Yeah. I don't know that. Did uh, you use like hedgehog ears in this situ- sort of situation? <laughs> we can't do the math. What, what if he's... <laughs> <laughs> we can't do this. <laughs> we can't. Anyway, what else? What else? Oh, it's a video game. It's a video game movie. It's probably one of the only good ones, along with... Uh, Detective Pikachu. <laughs> uh, that is also Ooh. a really good one. Great film. Fantastic. Uh, I think the only one that comes to mind that I actually liked through and through, like, for the entirety of it, is probably Tomb Raider. Is there any other, like, video game movies or, like, video game adaptation? Not any good ones. Angelina? The original one? The original Tomb Raider? I like the new one, too. Uncharted is a video game one. For oh my go- oh for golly the, gosh, I totally is. forgot about the oh oh golly gosh, I forgot about what's her name and putting out that like reboot. I totally forgot. About Alicia Vikander. I think that I, one. I didn't hate for, it, that but it's not for the, the newer one that, games. That's not one of the ones that I like. Will think of because Angelina Jolie, a twonky Daniel Craig. Um, and then um, you brought up yes. You said Uncharted. Yeah, Uncharted twonky. came out recently. You said it was good, right? I well, I think I was the only one that saw it. Yes, yeah, I think it were. you were. It was actually really good, and I didn't think it was gonna be good at all. Question: Have they ever made a Zelda movie? No. No. They have not. They have not. They're making a Mario movie. Another one. Oh yeah, isn't it Chris Pratt supposed to be in it? He's I don't know how I fucking feel. Mario, which makes zero sense. Mario's you know who's short fucking uh, Charlie Day is going to be Luigi, and, and that that's, to me, that's, 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 all, that's all that matters. They should probably swap that. They should have made Danny DeVito Mario. Yeah. Okay. Wasn't he already? No. Maybe I'm not. I'm thinking. I've never seen that movie, so I can't, I can't be the source on that. <laughs> but there was an old Mario movie. Somebody was in it. Oh, yes. Was it John Leguizamo? John... Was yep. Luigi? And I don't know who Mario was. A no name nobody. Anyway, anyway, a but video anyway, game movie. I love and I love Sonic. I the first video game console I ever had was the Sega, so I have such fun memories of playing like the Sonic Sega Genesis game with like its little like music and all like the. It's just so hopeful. Like I I get a little tear hearing like the Green Hills theme. Mm-hmm. I'm like, as my childhood right there. I love Sonic. I had my X Men games, my Animaniac games. Anyway, I love Sonic. I love Sonic. The Sega. Yeah. I have the, I have a, it's not the original Sega, but it's the one they put out. It's, I got it from like Target. It has all the games in it already. Oh, that's so um, cool. Yeah. We'll have to play it when you come down. I have two controllers. Can I get two controllers? Yes. It has like and a whole the- bunch of games. It has all the Sonic games and a whole bunch of stuff on there. I had like. Sonic's hard. I was Sonic's starting to play really it as an hard. adult. I was like, uh, how did I do this as a kid? <laughs> 
I I like got an emulator. My my nerds will know what that is. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I like when I was in Mexico, just bored out of my fucking mind. I uh, like a couple years ago, I went through all three of the Sonic games, and I did beat it, but it was very difficult. <laughs> That's you like, had to play it on a computer though with the emulator. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a slightly different experience than using Well, the don't controller. take that from me. <laughs> <laughs> that's like <laughs> But that's like the Crash games when they remastered those and I was playing them on the PlayStation. I was like, "Uh, <laughs> did they make these harder cuz this is hard." And this then child didn't we like looked that up and they actually made it a little bit easier or they like left them sort <laughs> of like cheat in for one of the Crash games the, with the bridge. Oh yeah. No, I I didn't look that up. I just figured that out. I was like I can just jump on the side of the bridge and walk it <laughs> instead of having, cause you, I, I'm not going to go into it. It was just really hard and I kept dying and was I was about stressful. to quit the game. I love this video game talk. Oh, we also, love video games. Also, I never played Sonic. The last Neither thing, the last thing I'll say about video game movies is that they're finally doing a Bioshock one. You know, they're doing a Borderlands too. Are they? Yes, they are. And Jamie Lee Curtis yep. is, is the hottie hottie of the group. Yeah. And they're Lilith. doing the last of us as a show though on yeah. HBO. That game that. I also quit playing. <laughs> and then Halo Two. Yeah. The Antonio watched me play it for like thirty minutes, and then I died, and I was like, "I'm done. I'm done." <laughs> was it thirty minutes? I was like, "We've been here for hours." <laughs> I, it was thirty minutes because I remember I was like circling the clicker, and it was just me and this bitch, and I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna get behind it and fucking stab it," and because that's what I have to do. And Antonio was like, "I'm gonna go have a cigarette," and he left, <laughs> and then I turned a corner, and the clicker was like. Wah! and it ate me and i was like i'm i quit i'm Bye. done <laughs> haven't picked it up since <laughs> but sonic is not like that right it's like a platform kind of game yeah it's a side scroller okay yeah. yeah racing side scroller i don't know it's I'm not really learning. a race yeah yeah i don't but it's side yeah. scroller can okay. you also tell me the next things i read ahead but like I don't rem. I vaguely remember what the old Sonic looked like. Oh, oh the, man! The first trailer, with the yeah, oh, with the man. human teeth. Oh, it's bad. Uh oh, it's coming it's back to me now. So <laughs> bad. Yeah. yeah, it was disconcerting for those of us who didn't care, let alone for the people who really cared. I'm like y'all fucked up. Y'all fucked up so bad. And you know what's really haunting is there's a there is a full <laughs> cut of that film out there with Sonic looking like that. Um. But it's funny because that trailer came out after Detective Pikachu. So everyone was like, so you're going to do Pokemon like that where they look like Pokemon. they look like real life Pokemon and it's awesome. But then you're going to give us this. should not just give us like any of the meme Sonics. <laughs> any yeah. of them. Not Nuckies. Not Nuckies. <laughs> do you think they deleted it off the Internet? That's powerful, man. <laughs> That's some powerful shit. There are lots of things that have been deleted off the internet that are harder to find nowadays. Oh, no, 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 no. Why is he so fat, dude? Why does he have no neck? Yo, where'd that neck at? (laughs) (laughs) Like, (laughs) it is kind of (laughs) haunting. And and there's a whole movie with that in it. Here, I'll save this one. I didn't I, realize they made so many changes now I that those images are there. Yeah, like, like side by side. That's just not right, man. Yeah. He looks more like a fox. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Here, I'll send. I'll send the pictures to you. I oh, remember man. him. I'm, I, you know what? I think distance is good between me and those images. You're sending them anyway, aren't you? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Why it's not? Happening. We should all revel in it. Anyway, um, and I think the last point was we already went over that. It's one. It is one of the better uh, video game movies, because I would say this one and Detective Pikachu have been like all around. Everyone agreed these Detective are good. Pikachu this was is perfect. a good adaptation uh, my of a video game. Five year old nephew said, "This is my favorite movie." He's literally so obsessed with Sonic. I don't. He's never played the games before, but he's also kind of a game kid. And I'm like, "You really love this movie?" And he's like, "Sonic is my life." <laughs> he's never said that but every time every time we talk he's like i want to be a filmmaker because of the sonic movie blah 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 that's cute it's so adorable. it is impacting it's everybody a, it's a good sonic movie. Is it's life. just a good sonic movie <laughs> i don't because i the made you shrek? see it with me what'd you say the new shrek is that what you're saying ketzel huh huh yeah. shrek is love 
Shrek is life. I Shrek say life, nothing Shrek about Shrek. I said Sonic no, is you... love. Sonic is life. But I know it's a Shrek reference. But I didn't say nothing about new Shrek. All right. <laughs> so I'm like, Shrek is still relevant now. <laughs> it's back on Netflix. Shrek is the name on everyone's lips. I was looking up LGBT movies on Netflix, and for some reason, <laughs> Shrek came up under that list, and Cute. I was so confused. Cute. Ally. True ally. True ally. Okay, what were you saying? Yeah, you and Antonio watched it. It was... Uh, well, first... Okay, hold on. I asked these guys to go see it with me, and they laughed at me. They scoffed at me. Referred oh. to one of they the threw, earlier episodes, They threw please. stones at you. They threw tomatoes at me. It was terrible. Tomato, tomato. Um, so I went to go see it with somebody else, and I was like, oh, my God, this movie is... I was like, this movie's so good. It's funny. It's cute. Like, all around, just a good movie. And I convinced Antonio. Antonio was like, yeah, I'll go. I'm a vibe person. I'll go. And we saw it, and I was like, it was good, right? And you were like, yeah, it was good. You are like, it's good, eh? I was like, it's good, no? <laughs> you know what? It's been two years since that movie came out, and now there's a second movie about to come out. Mm -hmm. I feel prompted to watch it now. Do you think this will write the timeline again? I think so. I think nature's healing. I hope so. Oh, hey. you mean like in the world because quarantine, et cetera, et cetera? Yeah, that happened yeah. like right after this. Suddenly everybody forgot that COVID is a thing, so I feel like I have, sadly. I think, I think What's that? Sonic is healing. <laughs> What's that? Um, Dahlia, what do you know about the movie? I mean, I know the actors because I'm reading them right now, but I also knew that they were in it. You don't um, know anything about the plot? I I guess, to me, from what I gather from having seen the trailer like 100 years ago, I haven't seen it anytime recently, Sonic is like, he popped into this world from another world through some sort of portal. I don't know. And he has fallen on James Marsden, who is the king of uh, fluffy animated animals. Refer to series of movies, insert here. And uh, they are not friends, but not not friends. And then they help. He helps Sonic. I don't know. He, Sonic <laughs> runs fast. I know that. <laughs> he says, I gotta go. <laughs> gotta go gotta fast. fast. Uh, what else? I know his name is Eggman, right? Is that the villain? Yeah, that's what Sonic calls him. I don't. Is he an Eggman? Is he made of eggs? Is it because he has an egg head? That's that's kind of mean. <laughs> well, he's <laughs> trying to like. Well, you know. to be fair, not that you've seen anything that looks like this, that's seen the movie yet. Um, uh, the character design for the villain is different than how like Jim Carrey looks. I have like that. I have seen the man. He is an egg. He looks much he is he <laughs> looks like an egg there. I have seen the man and he is, is an egg. I that's what I have gathered is he I guess he has an egghead so that he calls him Eggman, but I don't know what his real villain name if he even has one. And uh Jim Carrey's a bad guy. Um what else? Ben Schwartz plays Sonic, the voice. I really would love to put two and two together and really see if the voice fits the character. I'm sure I'll be fully immersed. Um, and I don't know what the plot is, but it seems like typical good guy, bad guy type of shit. I, I hope there's uh, rings because I know there's rings in the game. So you go bling, <laughs> when you eat them. <laughs> Does he eat them? He I don't know. He like he collects just grabs them. them. Ah, there's no tongue involved. There's no mime. That's that's Yoshi. <laughs> that's Yoshi, yeah. Oops. Uh, cross playing. Um, I don't know. I think that's that's all that I really know. I, I guess he wins in the end because uh, there's a number two. So Eggman comes back. Return of Eggman. <laughs> <laughs> Say Eggman one more time. <laughs> <laughs> and that, yeah, I think that's all that I know. I was very excited to hear that in the second movie, uh, is his name Tails? Tails is a character. And Tails. then also I love Knuckles Tails. comes and he was a big meme. So I would just like to see how the first movie turns into the second movie because I am familiar with all the characters. Just, I don't know about the plots of the, the films. That's it. Or the games, honestly. Yeah. Mm I know like some of the characters, like I knew about Tails and I knew about Knuckles and some Shadow. of the other characters. Yeah. Shadow. Yeah, Shadow. And then whatever and then the girl is, right? The evil girl is I, I, it's some sort of like bat fox thing. 
Yes. Yeah. What is the name? Someone please give it I got it. it. Don't worry. Don't worry. You keep talking. I say less. I got is it. Is it like Bixie? Trixie? Batra? <laughs> Are you making up names there? <laughs> I don't know. I'm pulling all <laughs> the late, all the Godzilla. 80s, 90s. Her like, name is uh, Rouge? Ro? Rouge. It's Rouge. It's Rouge? Damn, you or, were way off. I was way off. You're like, Batra. I like Batra. I mean... Uh, honestly, I was just like everyone they else give is them like X names, right? Like Roxy or something, something sexy. Yeah. yeah. Why are they so Rouge, sexy? Rouge is sexy. That is sexy, but it's like sexy. all the rest of them have like you know their names come from what they look like, well, except for Sonic because that's because how he goes fast. But like Tails is about his tails, Knuckles is about his knucks, and then Shadow is just the dark. <laughs> knucks. <version>. He's evil. <laughs> no, wait a minute, Knucks. Everyone- Remember when I sent you? I can't believe it's rude. Knuckles, n- the Nucky's backpack. <laughs> oh, uh, good times. Anyway, actors. that's all I know about the movie. Actors. Well, uh, let's touch, touch base on the uh, scores. Oh right, right, right. So the so scores- Rotten Tomatoes gave it. <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes gave it a sixty-three percent. Audiences gave it a 93%, and Google users gave it an 85%. That uh, just goes to show that it's, like, not highbrow. It's for it's for it's, the fans. It's for the people. It's for the people. That's it's for the, the real ones. Yeah. I, I believe that, because everybody was very, like, they bullied the, the whole company to be like, fucking do this again, please, Try please, one please. more time. And... And I think that they got what they wanted, and I'm glad that Sony heard the fans out because after having relived this moment of the two Sonics, I don't think it's Sony. Oh, I thought it was Sony. Yeah, don't Is worry, say less. I got you. Oh. I, I thought Paramount. it was Sony, dude, because it's on Paramount Plus. And then I think the second one's going to Paramount Plus bum, bum, too. Nice, nice, nice. So Sony originally was planning it, but then Paramount Pictures acquired it. Okay, so it was Paramount. Good for you, you Paramount. Right. You're right. We were both right. Cute. Love it. Actors. Oh, I'm so dumb. I know why it's Paramount. I'm positive I know why too, because the opening like credit scene. Yep. That's so dumb. Yeah. That's also why I was like, I'm pretty sure it's Paramount. Um, actors. Jim Carrey. Who we know That's it. as handsome emo boy, mm. Benjamin Schwartz. Right? Uh, uh, you guys do. Oh, yes. Um, Benjamin Schwartz, whose guy wants to fuck. If you're listening, hit us up. Our I... email is our description. <laughs> I never got an answer please, on that tweet, please, and I'm still please. pissed about it. Wear a Sonic onesie. Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> James Marsden, who we've also visited in Hairspray, and who I would like to fuck. <laughs> if you're listening, James Was Red. it? Wait. J- oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. I was in oh. Risen. <laughs> Whoa. You know, habits, habits, habits. He was also in Zoolander very briefly. Thank you. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. You don't remember that. He shot Abe Lincoln, <laughs> didn't he? He did. <laughs> But Antonio doesn't remember. It's fine. <laughs> we have also Tika Sumter, Natasha Rothwell, and Adam Pally. I don't know any of those three people. But you knew the first three. Yes. Uh, but of course. The last three, they they're I've seen them in other things, and they're awesome. They're all so like, funny. And Natasha Rothwell was in um, Insecure. It's a show on HBO. I've heard good things about it. It's a great show. I binged it when I was sick with COVID. (laughs) I watched the whole, whole series. And it was great. Awesome. Well, I'm excited because, I mean, I know it's going to be good now because second movie and also because you and you and you. I'm excited to watch it. I haven't watched it in a minute. And it's so cute. And the songs Mm -hmm. in it are good too. I don't know the songs. I'm excited now. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. I don't have any expectations going into it. I just want to enjoy it. Uh, and also right the wrong that I have made for my friend who said it was good and I did not believe her. <laughs> I just, I just, I, you know, I think of that time where I was like, hey, hey, we could like go to dinner and then go see that. And you both were like, you guys were like, throw our heads back in the 
so like, finally time to right some wrongs time to right some wrongs Bye. got a blast <laughs> all right <laughs>Welcome to Sit Down Loser Part 2. We're percent. back. I don't know. Hi. It's been a while. It's been anyway. <laughs> can I just Anyways. say it's been a it's been 4 months since we actually recorded. We were in a brief hiatus, so that was this is our re- triumphant return. So Has it really been 4 months? We haven't recorded this year. Officially, yes. And triumphant we re- it recorded was. it in December and it is now April. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> and now we're here to talk about Sonic because we just finished the movie. Sonic. Oh man, I gotta say, I liked it. It made me scream a couple of times. A couple. Several. Several. You were on the edge of your seat, Mama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what of it? Okay. Well, well, well. Here we can start from the beginning. I don't know if anybody wants to kick us off. Sky. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay, okay. But it begins. We meet Sonic. He's enjoying his life on Earth, secretly in Green Hills, Montana. Hey, Montana. What's up, Montana And fans? he observes people. Hey. Hey. <laughs> He observes the people of the town, and he's, like, super-duper in love with a local sheriff. I mean, who wouldn't be? It's James Marsden. But in this movie, his name is Tom, and he lives with his wife, Maddie. That'll help you remember the names, promise. <laughs> um, <laughs> so he's, like, unaware that they're trying to move to San Francisco because he, like, you know, decided to get a job there, as for being the popo, I guess. Not the best job in San Fran. Isn't it dangerous there? I don't know about San Fran. I think California in general. Yeah, just generally. When I think San Fran, I think gay. Hey, that's like, dangerous. Hey, that's dangerous. Yeah. Anyway, they're, um, he's just he's out playing baseball by himself, and he's just overcome with loneliness, which is so sad. And he starts just running, you know, as we all do when we're upset. Am I right, fellas? No. No. <laughs> no. no. I do not run when I'm mad. I just cry. I do well, the I'm opposite. Just a little I lie when down. Do you- yeah. I was like, I run when I'm like on you a don't, you don't like, note. You don't like, like you running know, away I, from your feelings? No, I bottle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> he he's just running really, really fast and just you know, suddenly he I don't know, kinda charges his power as he's running he's running around the baseball diamond like and wow then he blows up all the power in town <laughs> what was that noise can we get that noise one more time wow anyway um <laughs> 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 he causes a huge electromagnetic pulse and then it causes power a power outage so it's pretty intense because the fucking government uh sees it and he's like gee i hope nobody noticed that and then we <laughs> flash back to the stupid police guy that's working in the office late at night and he's like oh gosh oh geez oh gosh oh geez the lines are flooded which is really weird because if the power is out why are the phones ringing answer me that backup Riddle generator me sonic movie magic but that's what happens in the beginning it was really sad though like I, I, right at the beginning though just to touch on his relationship with the owl named Longclaw. Yeah. That was really sad and unnecessary. That was kind of sad. Before the whole, like, in media res, this is where they start sort of things. They do, like, touch base on how he got to his Earth. His origin story. But that was sad. That was kind of sad because he had, like, the owl mentor. But, yeah, he's now he's alone. It's kind of, like, depressy a little bit. I feel bad for Sonic. He He called himself an uninvited guest to most things, and I'm like... He's like, yeah, we're just all hanging out, but I wasn't invited and no one knows I'm there. <laughs> Same. Where's the harm? <laughs> um, did y'all ever watch that Owl movie by Zack Snyder? Of course I did. No. What is it called? It's it's, it's called Legend. Guardians of Gahul. It was a book series, no? Legend of the Guardians. Know. Guardians of Gahul. Or... That Let sounds me tell you. so familiar. 
Because the trailer was litty. The trailer had a fucking uh, 30 Second to Mars uh, song playing in the back. Slow-mo owls battling. And it's a great film. <laughs> like, which I read 30 some of the books. Song? You would. Yeah. I don't know that one. I'm not going <laughs> to attempt to pretend that I know any 30 Seconds to Mars song except for The Kill. I mean, not to give, like, Jared Leto any attention ever, but uh, the Zack Snyder film. I, You know, Zack Snyder really put his little twist in it, because those owls were going in slow-mo during the battle, and that was really cool. Weren't they animated? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, it was a 3D, and, like, it was, like, right after 300, I guess, because I think that was, like, the big pivot, like, in the trailer from the producer of 300 or something like that. It's an excellent film. I highly recommend. I just want. Oh, to it's great. That. It's so good. Guardians is such a good word. Any sort of like movie with guardians in it is really good. Of the galaxy. Guardians of the galaxy, Rise of the Guardians, and then is where's that one with the the Jack Frost and those other dudes? That's yeah. Oh, oh watch that one. I, I never that saw Anaheim. it, but everyone in fuck on the fucking internet was fucking horny for Jack Frost. People are it's still Chris horny Pine. for Jack Frost. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's important. Moving on. <laughs> Back to Sonic. Um, I love seeing his little home in the beginning because it looks like the video game with the loops and all the grass. Oh, and all the okay. Trees. That's what you're talking I was like, the cave? Yeah. Is the cave part of it? <laughs> <laughs> A sad little cave. <laughs> that was in the video games? Wow. <laughs> no. No, 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 with all, like, the little loops and stuff. It's really nice. I enjoyed seeing it. What's the name of that map? Well, that map is, like, Green Hills, but, like, then they made Green Hills in Montana, so. Oh, that's actually the name? That's what I thought I y'all thought had were... said, and I was like. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were just referencing the movie the whole time. I guess in the video game, his home is actually called Green Hills. That's like the first like uh it's like that's the like first the level. level. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. I don't know where Sonic is from like in real like the in real, real life. <laughs> like the canon. <laughs> like like the real actor Sonic. <laughs> 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 um but that's like the first level is the Green Hill level. I'm looking up sonic.fandom.com <laughs> to see <laughs> if he's actually born in Green Hill. Please pay no attention to me. I would like to know. We'll Anyways, cut out the silence. So, I guess we can move on to the next one. Yeah, go for one. it. Um, so, after this power outage, the U.S. Department of Defense calls in a Dr. Robotnik, who's like this uh, super intelligent operative for them. Um, it kind of works outside the boundaries of the law. And they task him with discovering the cause of the pulse and like the source of it um, because they think it's an attack. He looks like a baddie, doesn't he? He do. He's in all black. How he's like called by the government, but he looks like a supervillain. He yeah is one hundred percent supervillain garb. Uh, it's like all black and red. It's but a good look. What are the kids supposed to think? They're like, oh, supervillains in government, so the government is bad. Is this movie a cab? Except Damn. that the fucking that James Marsden is being a cop, and it's a good thing. Doctor, we're talking about Doctor Robotnik, right? Because man, oh man, yeah. Doctor oh Robotnik. Man. That just, what an entrance! What a fucking entrance! That is for me, for me, the best part of the fucking film. Uh, anytime he's talking and belittling someone is my favorite part of the film. You just get so fucking horny for it. Uh, belittlement. And he does it again and again. Do you want me to read it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, you, uh, oh, you want me to read this whole paragraph? <laughs> I thought we were just spitballing popcorn, <laughs> bitches. Anyways, so uh, um, after <laughs> Dr. Robotnik comes in, takes over the operation, uh, Sonic is almost cornered, and so he runs towards the first person he can think of, which is Tom in Maddie's house, because um, he knows Tom is a safe guy, and he's really cool and chill and shit. Um, and he's about to use Tom's garage as like his escape point to the Mushroom Planet, which is his backup plan. Um, Tom, hearing the commotion, comes out and is about to shoot what he thinks is a trash panda, a raccoon, and ends up shooting Sonic, who 
unwittingly With drops the, the rings. Tranquilizer. He didn't like shoot him. <laughs> let's be clear. Let's be clear. <laughs> he shoots Sonic. Sonic. Shoots Sonic, Sonic dead. <laughs> he shoots him dead. Oh, no. And then the movie ends. The end. <laughs> end. The end. Come back for part two. Like, <laughs> no, but he um, tranquilizes Sonic, who unwittingly drops uh, one of the rings and subsequently the rest of the rings into a portal in San Francisco. Because he's thinking about San Francisco because it's on Tom's shirt. Super. Random. But it's part of where he's going to go. Uh, d- um, after much begging and pleading. Um, oh, no, no, no. Shoot. Well, actually, we could probably no, a- we could probably touch on like right before uh, Robotnik shows up to Tom's house right. because he's like, I sent something in there. But before he shows up, he's doing all his crazy stuff, belittling the man, as Antonio was saying. And, like, (laughs) at that point, I wrote this down. Like, he's like, you want to see what comes out of my egg sack? He's, like, referencing Charlotte's Web. And he's like, let me spoil it for you. She dies in the end. If you're listening to this and you have not read Charlotte's Web. (laughs) What are you doing? (laughs) What are you doing? Um, Anyway, she dies and she leaves behind her egg sack of babies and he's like do you want to see what's in my egg sack and i was just appalled because i'm, I'm all like, like they, yes they left this in the movie is that allowed i don't know but i thought that was hilarious and i thought that that's why like i guess that's why they call him eggman because i think before we even started i was like his name is eggman but that's not his real name i don't think it's, it's robotic egg sack. well that's what i thought but how was i supposed to know there's a whole backstory here that I was left to unfold as the movie progressed. I'm like, why do they call him the Eggman? He's a very handsome man. Oh, I'm look so anything. glad you said that. I'm so glad you said that because that really leads to my question, which is, um, did you guys think this character's kind of hot <laughs> as Robotnik? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. In most okay. movies, yes, I think he's very, very hot, <laughs> too. Well, I generally don't find him hot. Uh, we know. I, right? But this was actually like this was good costume design, great hair. Good, you know. I think it's the hair for me. It's the the hair is so I good. I do love good him and his hair. boyfriend, Agent Stone. <laughs> let's be clear. Let's, let's be, let's clear. be clear. clear. It's not it's not canon, but uh, yes, it those is. of us on the <laughs> they are a couple. If you know, you know. If it's, you don't, you don't. It's uh-huh. queer coded as heck. But, like, I don't know. He, he looked good. And for finally, it took, like, episode 20-something. This is episode 23, right? 24. 20. This is episode 24. <laughs> that that counts with in, a, in a valley of violence. <laughs> I'm just, like, making sure I'm not, like, doing the wrong one. Okay. It took until episode 24 <laughs> for me to finally... <laughs> uh, bu- 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 <laughs> <laughs> be like a villain hmm because it didn't happen with chris evansies in the fucking knives out and it didn't happen with james ranson in a valley of violence but here we are jim carrey as whimsical villain robotnik and it's funny because the in a valley of violence episode came out before this one so you can listen to that one and hear dolly's spiel on that and then you can go to this one and be like oh so that didn't matter no it didn't matter oh oh Mm -mm. It didn't matter because she was like, you know, when people just, you know, are bad people, it just, it really turns me off. It doesn't matter who's playing them. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, foot and mouth. There it is. Only it, uh, 24 or episodes later, because that was uh, one of the first ones we did on the back, like, just like the older types. Yep. It took Jim Carrey. That would have been episode five. Yeah. No, episode six. In between four, oh, four and five. I really think In a Valley yeah. of Violence is one of our best episodes. It really is. <laughs> it really was. We were loopy. We were just joshing around. But, uh, we summarized it really well, and then we just went off. We fucking went off, because we were like, it's not about this episode, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Little did we but know. anyway, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey did it for me as, as a villain. Finally, it happened to me. Who knew? It just took the secret sauce. It, it took Sonic the Hedgehog, which I refused to watch for the last two years. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I gotta go. She's leaving, guys. She's leaving. 
but wow wow i just had to make that i had a oh. anyway we meet robotnik or tom meets robotnik because he shows up to his house and he's like y'all got a hedgehog in there <laughs> yep <laughs> y'all got a home <laughs> Were you? Antonio wasn't there. Fucking Dolly was on some shit. <laughs> it was the drink. Yeah, she I was trying to. She was trying to. She was trying to ask this guy if she was gonna go home, but it was like, you got a home. She was like, do you? Do you have a home? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Are you homeless? Do you want to stay here? I love Andy. this tangent of bad guys. Anyway, but yeah, y'all, Robotnik. Y'all, y'all got a hedgehog here? <laughs> Robotnik <laughs> shows up and he's like, hey. And then Tom's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and so Robotnik sends his little drones up into the house and Sonic's like, don't freak out. And you know what he does? He, he freaks, freaks out. out. And then some shooting happens. The house that they were going to sell gets all bullet holy. And I'm like, oh no, they can never sell this house. Not in this market, but then I was like, "Oh wait, in this market you absolutely can," <laughs> because What's everything a couple is of bullet holes? crazy. That's not even that doesn't even make it a fixer up. It just means like, eh, a little bit of dry uh, wall and some paint. Yeah, just like holes, I can fix that. So, yeah, and uh, what is it, Tom? He he punches Robotnik and he's out, and then he escapes with Sonic, and they go on the road to San Francisco because Sonic doesn't know geography. <laughs> He's like, I've only lived in this town forever. I don't even know geography. Let me tell you, as a teacher of children, they don't. And what Sonic is a child, as we've established. Now, um, they don't know where the fuck anything is. A lot of adults don't know where the fuck anything is. Man, you, you give throw them a words map. like north, east, south, and west at an adult. You're out. Not me though. I do that. I I'm like go west. Too. I'm built I'm like, different. Oh, it's in- <laughs> No, they're but like, yes. they're like, so you're from Nevada. <laughs> that's like, <laughs> that's, and I'm like, on the other side of the country, and they're like, right, right, right. So like a couple hours away, and I'm like, by airplane, they're like, <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and that's near Jersey? <laughs> and I'm like, no. <laughs> you're like, no, good no, job, no, only job. On, We're done here. Only on the scroll list of states is it next to Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. Anyway, so Sonic is a child. It's not a geography. So now they are gonna go on a little road trip to San. And then they pass. Yes, and they pass. And I love that you made this observation because, like, what is the concept of money to Sonic? Because they pass a little world's biggest rubber band ball, like tourist trap. And he's like, "Oh, can we go?" And then Tom is like, "Absolutely not." So he goes anyway because he's fucking Sonic. And he comes back and he's like, "It's not worth it." And then I think Antonio was like, "Did he buy those?" Well, he was just straight up like that. Or did he steal them? And then I think at that point we we're like, "Does he even have a concept of money?" And then we went, "What's money?" <laughs> and even if he does have a concept of money, where is he gonna get money? Exactly. He's gonna steal it because he, he didn't he earn stole it. it. And that's that's not that's not. That's not how you use money. <laughs> That's not how you should get money. Unless you got it. Nope. No, and even if you got it. <laughs> so I was like, wait, wait, wait. You don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Even when you have money, you don't really have money. Money's not real. Money's not real. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, we, we're not going to start. Little, we're not going to start an economic discourse over that one. Yeah, we're really like <laughs> Mon- Monty, not real. Mountains, I don't know her. Not real. Whoa. Chemtrails, though. <laughs> Chemtrails, real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the moon government. is also real. <laughs> what did you say? The moon is also real. <laughs> It the is. Pla- the planet moon <laughs> is also real. That's debatable. <laughs> are clouds real? No. Uh-oh. Those are chemtrails. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. Everything I knew is a lie. <laughs> Guys, I'm freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little too complicated here for Sonic the Hedgehog. Fucking Sonic. Freaking out. 
<laughs> Sonic fucking flipped me upside I'm my head. Tripping. <laughs> uh, but Sonic starts to bond with Tom. And they're at this bar. They create this bucket list. He's like, well, I got to leave Earth at once I get my rings that got trapped on top of this building in San Francisco. And he's like, what if I can't compete, complete my list? And so he's like, well, we're in a fucking bar. This is like the best place to like fucking cross a bunch of shit off. So they do a lot of crazy stuff and, you know, basically cross everything off their list. So um, having found a quill from Sonic at Dr. Dr. Tom's. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's Dr. Robotnik, good God, discovers the power that it holds. Ooh. It starts glowing. At first, I was like, why is this fucking um, hair, piece of hair so hard and, and durable and shiny? Is and that shit? gorilla then glue? I realized, it, he's a it's hedgehog. He's Je- a hedgehog, Gel? so it's a quill. Gorilla snot. I think that's what's. Snot, there we go. Gorilla glue would be much more terrible <laughs> to put on your head. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right, right. Didn't people do that at some point in the past? Uh, someone did that to put on their weave. Lashes? Oh their yeah, they extensions? did. They did. Yeah, I their think. weave. Yep. I and know. It created like chemical burn or something. Like it was bad. Like gorilla glue. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit! I know, like drag queen super glue, like they're like jewel like stuff on them, but I don't know. I don't know what the gorilla glue. What the fuck? Is that allowed? Is this allowed? Oh, wait, real quick. I'm um, going back to that bar scene because there's like this whole big slow mo scene. Did you guys ever watch Over the Hedge? I did not. Is that yeah. the one with the gnomes? No, that's the one. That's with the gnomes. <laughs> Mama, that's Gnomeo and Gnomeo Juliet. Gnomeo and Juliet <laughs> with <go>. James McAvoy <laughs> and Emily Blunt. Yes. Oh Lord. Okay. Go on. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> continue. Over the Hedge is a fucking excellent movie. Sorry, but all these guys seen it. Anyway, you know how they have a little slow mo scene too. I haven't seen that movie in years. Well, fuck me. <laughs> Bruce mm-hmm. Willis is in that. I was, I was thinking more of um, which Quicksilver. X- yeah, I was like, uh, which X Men movie? X Men Apocalypse. You know, was it X Men Apocalypse? The one with Peter. Peter Evan? Evans. Evan Peters. Right, <laughs> Evan Peters. <laughs> Peter, Peter Evans. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Apocalypse. I thought it is it Days of Future Past. Uh, I think it's Days of Future Past. Oh no! I wait a minute. Days of Future Past is <laughs> like wait. they go both ways. Apocalypse. They, they do like, go both. Oh, ways. I, I go both ways too. They it's in, <laughs> big fucking dumb, big fucking dumbs, clowns. <laughs> Bisexual clowns. <laughs> da, 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 da. I tried very hard not to spit that out. <laughs> your, your One of them is about to fucking do an actual real life spit take. And you just keep it. <laughs> and I, like, there's not safe here. It's summer almost. Summer. It just to turned drink. into spring. It's not almost summer, Vegas, bitch. <laughs> not in Vegas. Once upon a December. <laughs> bees into words that are not necessary don't even don't even don't don't ever burb where even are we (laughs) we started talking about what we were talking uh, about media parallels and how one of the x-men movie quicksilver um is going through the prison with magneto and he like does that whole slow-mo scene going Wait, so isn't that X Men? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we. <laughs> I shouldn't be allowed to be on this movie podcast. We're, yes, we we narrowed it down to one of the X Men movies. We're trying to figure out which one. It was like from the last episode where we were talking about we were talking about Doctor Who. Did you listen to the episode yet? For in a valley of violence no I okay didn't get a chance to okay so, so there's a part in it where we're talking about karen Gill- gillen karen gillen. gillen karen gillen who was in doctor who and we're all talking about how we've never seen doctor who Ketzel plans on never watching doctor who and we we're talking about doctor I'm who from good. on uh, hot topic and stuff and then a little bit goes by and you go <laughs> you go hey guys have you seen doctor who <laughs> 
We're like, bitch, no, we haven't. I didn't remember it either, but Dolly goes, bitch, no, I just said I did. It's the funniest shit ever. It's like, so, so is this for Metzman? So that's what that reminded me of, because we, yes, we've narrowed it down to one of the X-Men movies. We're trying to figure out which one. But I think it's... It might be. You know, I only saw Apocalypse once. Because they did Oscar Isaac so dirty. They did him so dirty. (laughs) So bad. They did him so fucking dirty. Um, I think it's Days of Future Past. Because you've seen that scene multiple times. Yeah, and I think that's the first one Evan Peters is in. It is Days of Future Past. Is it? Mm Mm-hmm. Because he rescues the, he the rescues names. Magneto, which is the whole reason why they go back in the thing. Because I was trying to think of what happens. Here's why I am confusing the two. Because he does the exact same fucking slow-mo scene in Apocalypse and saves everyone from the school blowing up. That's right. So he yeah. does Dahlia's slow-mo like, scenes a lot. <laughs> Dahlia's like, is this X-Men? <laughs> like the, the numbers and calculations. <laughs> <laughs> Just like X-Men. formulas and equations. <laughs> So that's why I was like, no, it's got to be Apocalypse. The reality is it's both of those movies, and they both have slow-mo scenes because Quicksilver's in both of those movies. But the best both. but the best one is Over the Hedge, though. Like, that's the best one. <laughs> <laughs> I got to watch this after we're done. Jesus. Write that down. Jot okay. That down. <laughs> uh, Stella, jot that down. <laughs> she's our, Stella, she's Stella. our new intern. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of love that. <laughs> Stella, Stella, Stella. Intern. Stella, edit that out. <laughs> Stella, it's time for us for another round of coffees. Here's here's thirty dollars. Go to Starbucks. <laughs> she brings back nothing $30. but puppuccinos. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink them, which are free. <laughs> Where's my thirty dollars? <laughs> what do you mean? I got you puppuccinos. <laughs> Okay. okay. Where are we? <laughs> Where are we? Let me. Let me. <laughs> um. <yee>. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, while they're finishing up their little uh, buddy buddy road trip, they get attacked by Robotnik's drones and they have a sick ass car scene change chase. I can't. Turns out I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> they make, and you teach these kids. <laughs> I'm so rusty. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> Someone's got to teach them. Okay, so they have a little fight scene, but they eventually make it to San Francisco where Tom takes Sonic to Maddie, who's been staying with her sister who fucking hates Tom. Hates Dude, his what the fuck is guts. up with... Rachel was her name. Rachel, what the fuck, dude? What is your problem? James Marsden is a fucking catch. He's hot. He's supportive. That was the whole thing. He fucking like supported her through her like tuition that she became a vet. Like he's a he's a man. He's a good man. And fuck he's a good man. A good man. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is she like so now that I think about it, because we didn't weren't introduced because Rachel is a mom. She has a kid. Is she like recently divorced? Maybe she's recently divorced and lashing out. There maybe. Oh. Was no father. I literally just had to think about it. I was like, you know what? I don't think there. Maybe she's just like lashing out because she's bitter, or she's like, best thing that ever happened to me is getting divorced. How does that reflect on JoJo though? JoJo is her daughter, the niece of Maddie. So it's like, are you really gonna be acting that way? Like JoJo looks like she's like eight years old and she knows how to fucking spell. So like, if she's gonna spell the word divorce, you might as well just say it. But. You know, that's all Rachel. Anyway, I just thought that it was hostile for no reason. I guess it was in for humor, but I'm like, what's your deal, Rachel? But they lock her up anyway. They do. <laughs> 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 anyway, but they're like, okay, we're going to we're going to go. We're going to go get those them rings. Um, and so Maddie's now helping Son- Sonic and they go and finally get to the pyramid building where the rings have fallen into. Um, and they're about to, you know, get him, go get him. But then Mr. Eggman comes along. With his eggs from his, his sack. Egg. With his sack eggs. <laughs> you 
can hey, laugh. It's okay. S- Stella, Sack is a funny word. Stella, keep that in, please. <laughs> I, I love <laughs> this. <laughs> I love this indication. <laughs> keep that in. <laughs> Stella, keep that in. Has Stella been introduced? Oh, oh Stella, I don't know. Stella's a dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Are hey. We- yeah, I did I an mean- Instagram post on all of our animals. Oh. If you didn't know, I, I found her in the desert uh, when we were imaging one night. And I said, you're coming home with me. And then she never left. <laughs> you're coming home with me. <laughs> Dolly went, you got a home? <laughs> <laughs> you're mine now. Basically. <laughs> so now she's here indefinitely. And she's uh, also been uh, voluntold to be our unpaid intern. So congratulations. Uh, you have a home and a job. Stella. Just, anyway. <laughs> just because Gilbert would never agree to it. <laughs> like, I don't have time for that. I, I got things paid to do. To sleep. <laughs> but they go to the top of the pyramid building in San Fran and they go, but, but, or Robotnik goes, but, but. And then they're like, Sonic, you had the speed, but we will literally die right here. And he's like, yeah, about that. And then he pushes them off the building and we're like, what? <laughs> How can that happen? And he uses his super speed to do another slow mo, just like they did at the bar, to just blow and up an all of the, the thingies. Oh yes, thank you. Because remember that tangent. <laughs> and yeah, he he gets his rings. He drops his piss of rings, and he reaches for one, and he sends them back to Green Hills. And he stays in San Francisco and gets chased by Eggman. Which is the beginning of the movie. That's how we were introduced. He's like, hey, you see that hedgehog? That's me. And My life's like, pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, do you want to know the end of this story? Me too. Me fucking too. And then we continue the movie from there. Um, One of the important things, I think, is uh, um, during the slow-mo scene, uh, Egghead, or Dr. Robotnik, Egghead. has figured... Egghead has figured out how to harness the power of the quill and is moving at the exact same speed as Sonic. So um, he, while Sonic is being chased through San Francisco, he eventually starts using the rings to go through other places um, like the Great Wall of China, the pyramids, Paris. Paris. Um, eventually it leads them all the way to Green Hills again where Sonic has been blasted. Blasted. We've all been there. <laughs> Am I right? Yes. But, but the yeah, town... so. Oh, go ahead. Okay, you do it. No, go ahead. No, because I already did my reading. And now, if we were going around the circle, it's back to you. <laughs> I didn't even go. <laughs> 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 anyway, so Sonic is knocked unconscious. And, of course, uh, Robotnik's like, I'm going to take him. And the townspeople are like, no, you ain't. <laughs> and that's when uh, the power of friendship <laughs> brings power, Sonic yeah. back to life. Because Tom's like, that's that's my that's friend. My friend. <laughs> what are you <laughs> doing? <laughs> and Sonic hears the word friend, and he's like, I'm alive. Um, and then he regains his strength and is able to defeat Robotnik and fucking sends him to that mushroom planet that he did not want to go to, which does have breathable air, but a bunch of mushrooms. So boring. Also, can I just say the fact that he was saved by the power of friendship is very funny because twice in this movie they reference family. The first with Olive Garden, when you're here, your family, and then Vin Diesel for Fast and Furious. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite reference. Um, I hate the plugging, the plugging of fucking Olive Garden and fucking uh, fucking Olive Garden, Olive Garden and fucking uh, <laughs> what was the other thing? Zillow. Zillow. Shameless. Shameless. But they've been doing it since Back to the Future, so. True. Sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> Olive Garden and Zillow, please sponsor us. <laughs> Vin Diesel sponsor You're us. You're only mad that they get plugs because you don't get any of your own. I don't get any. <laughs> One day. One day. One day. But yeah, uh, I I was like, ooh, is this going to be marvel And there's a clip at the end, and you were right. Because we do go to see... Uh, Dr. Robotnik on the planet and he's like insane now. He's got this very bushy be- beard. No, 
mustache. And, and it's, mustache. His, it's, a, it's his video game look. It's like the big mustache, yes. the bald head. So what I had anticipated coming into this movie, like hideous like video game Eggman, now he's become the Eggman and not hot, whimsical Dr. Robotnik, which was very interesting. He, if you want to take over, go for it. Yeah, I want to just say, I just think it's really interesting how they made Dr. Robotnik hot, but they refused to make the Penguin hot and Batman. I don't think that the penguin needed to be hot. I think the point of him being penguin looking but is, was more important. Is Dr. Robotnik not supposed to be egg shaped? And they made him hot. So I don't understand why they couldn't take a penguin shaped man and make him hot too. I don't think there was an olive garden in the Sonic Whoa, video games either. Take it easy. <laughs> I'm just upset is what I'm getting at. They can't all be hot. Well, why the fuck not? <laughs> because then anyone would think all hot people are villains. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, Batman and Catwoman are not really heroes, but they're not really villains. Mm. But they're hot. But, but they, they are, are hot. hot. <laughs> no bisexual panic here. We're all okay. <laughs> We're A-okay. We're, like, <laughs> We're all <laughs> So the movie ends well. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Tom and Maddie basically adopt Sonic. <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy? Ah, here's my son, Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, they decide not to go to San Francisco. So they all stay in Green Hills happily ever after. Because when you're here, you're family. And, that's and we're done. Tea. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, there's more. In a secret end credits scene, uh, Tails comes through a portal in search of Sonic, setting it up for Sonic 2. You know, I always liked the character of Tails because I thought that Tails was very, very cute. And I didn't care about Sonic at all. I'm like, what's so great about Sonic? And I only cared about Tails. And I'm like, why didn't Tails? Why wasn't he the lead character? He, them, it, they. (laughs) We had this conversation. Why is Tails not a main character tails has main character energy i feel and would have been a complete star everybody likes foxy characters so he would have stole the show i think so but sonic is just an i think sonic is an iconic character tails is a great sidekick though he's not like he doesn't fade to the background at all i would have preferred a tails movie bold you'll get one hot take anywho there's a sonic too and it's coming out next week, right? April 8th. Yep. And now we're going to go watch it because now I've seen the first Sonic and I'm glad because I didn't have to wait two years for the stinking movie. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> 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 so, what'd you think of Sonic? I actually liked it a lot. It made me like, laugh a lot. There was a lot of great music in it, too. I have, I'm have i delightfully surprised that I, I liked it a lot. And... I think everything flowed really well. I'm super surprised that it's a children's movie. I think it's too good. Whoa! (laughs) (laughs) Watch out, Shrek! (laughs) I think it's on par. Sonic is love. Sonic is life. I think it's on par with that, like, shelf of movies, I think. Like, it's really good. You know, as for a kid's movie, like, what the heck? Like, they didn't have to do it like that. Right up there next leg. Pokemon 2000 and Shrek on my Spy VHS kids. collection. Uh, Spy Pokemon kids. 2000. Oof. Beauty and the Beast is on that shelf for me. Not every single Disney movie, but at least Beauty and the Beast. Like, or, it's good. Detective Pikachu. It's good. It's on good. the shelf. Yeah, that yeah. Is Detective one. Pikachu's on that shelf, too. I, and I, like, love, I love the. Yeah, I, I love. I love. They can be enjoyed by children of all ages. Let's go back. Back to the beginning. Okay. Anyway, uh, Dahlia, was it worth a watch? Yeah, absolutely. I <clears throat> I will say, uh, I think I uh, slept on that a little too Aww. long. But again, I'm not <laughs> mad because next week is the second movie and I didn't have to wait two years for it. Eh. So I would, yeah, definitely recommend it if you haven't seen it before. I think it was 
so good for pretty much anybody that you can partner watching with this like your significant other your nieces and nephews your grandparents i don't know like it's it seems like a good for everybody movie so definitely worth a watch cute watch it for jim Hot carrey cast. jim carrey <laughs> Hawkeye. Jim, 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 Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Carries. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Sonic. it. Sonic. I. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no. James like Marsden. Ben Schwartz. Not my favorite, but like he was good as Sonic. I didn't see Ben Schwartz's face when I was looking at no, Sonic. Oh, so that I was one hundred percent pure Sonic. So I was like, it's cool, not like cool. uh, um, certain people who are Beyonce to play. and Lion King. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> again again we are here dragging beyonce on this podcast <sighs> sorry that's that's the one thing i cash that's I, I haven't watched that movie since that t- since the first time i there tried are so and many i was things like wrong I, with it. I remember watching it with you guys in the elevator ride back to the parking garage where we had parked it was so silent <laughs> <laughs> anyway that was a dark time for all of us but mm. yes, like I, I, yeah, it was good, and I liked all the characters, and even Rachel, like the the sister in law, like good casting, good casting. Of uh, overall, hot cast is ju- definitely the main cast. Jim Carrey, uh, James Marsden, and Maddie definitely hot. You know what was also great about this movie is that it was like, like Jim Carrey was like classic Jim Carrey mm-hmm, in this movie. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, quintessential. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jim like Carrey. how he was in like the '90s and how he Liar, acted in the '90s. Yeah, Ventura. yeah. He like, had his oh. really goofy dancing scene, which was amazing. <laughs> that are we talking about our favorite parts? I don't. I'm not even gonna wait for that. <laughs> you just talked about it. That was that was my favorite part of the movie. Like him having his little dance scene. Like he was like, ka, 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 like posing and shit, and then like this like. Uh, what was it called? Like where evil grows or something like that. Such a good song for his like little like moment and stuff. He was dancing so good. That stupid <laughs> dinosaur. The like, montage. He went like, rah, and then he like pretended he lost his head. And I thought that was so cute. And I'm just like, ah, oh, I love this. And I had said I think earlier in the podcast that Jim Carrey is like retiring from acting essentially, have after having filmed uh, Sonic Two. So it's like that's wild man but this i think was one of my favorite things about the movie was that little montage of him dancing so good watch it for that because then he pins stone up against the wall uh wink no that was before that oh okay just kidding he comes with the lattes he comes with the lattes i like when you make them i like the way you make them favorite quote (laughs) interesting oh yeah i guess uh oh yeah because the next soundtrack Soundtrack score fantastic. Ten great soundtrack. Songs. Great songs. Great sounds. I mean, I it had a Queen song in it, so I mean, it come did. On. It had a Queen song. That song "Boom" by X Ambassadors was in it. Um, there was "Evil Grows," which we just touched base on, and I feel like there were a couple more. But uh, I didn't know that much about the score from the games. But I think uh, Q had texted saying that one of the scores was made them yeah. like tear up it was yeah. the green hills theme the theme that i said earlier in the episode makes me tear up yeah when they're rebuilding their house from the bullet holes um they're playing a very like they're playing a piano version of green hills and i'm just like ah! i love it i was so i was talking in that moment i had been talking with my brother and he's like are you watching sonic we we're talking about like the score of the video game and um I think they include just little bits throughout the movie, and it makes me so happy because the music from the video game is so good. Like the Eggman, like music is so fucking good. So I love it. I think they brought the ring sound too, didn't yeah. they? Mm-hmm. I know that sound, iconic. Yeah. Yeah. Good score. Costume. Uh, costume design, set design, location. That Robotnik look. Robotnik's mm, good look. look. Mm. Actually. Even the flights. Any suit. of their looks. Yeah. They were all really good. But uh yeah, so Robotnik definitely takes the cake for like costume design. Best. Uh it Maybe. was very also just set location, very Pacific Northwest in California. You could tell when they changed the locations and stuff. Pretty good. Favorite quotes. <laughs> I like the way you make them. <laughs> you wanna see what's in my sack? Oh my Hate that. Cool. Next, uh, my, you got you dropped two. My, 
I well, it, well what? She uh, said I two said different two. ones. <laughs> Yeah, we um, yeah, sometimes we have multiple. I have so many. <laughs> oh I yeah, I just, the one I wrote down because I kind of everything Jim Carrey said was just it was Great. Chef's gold. Kiss. The one he's like, you just sit there and be you, Celeste. <laughs> that <laughs> that's all. Ta- that was one of mine. Because that's you. Yeah, that is me. <laughs> uh, I think aside from any time he's talking to anyone. Uh, uh, Dr. Robachnik says, rub that in my orphan face too. That was mine. That was my my only one. (laughs) He's like, ah, I was breastfed. (laughs) Rub that in my orphan face. (laughs) It's so good. It's too good. Fucking good. Uh, Top shelf children's uh, movie. (laughs) After Jim Carrey retires, I'm gonna like go and watch every single one of them that I'm allowed to. Because I liked him and this i also want to rewatch um series of unfortunate events mostly because of him and then oh you like a mean mm-hmm. i like <laughs> I, I, I like a mean i like the mean i do uh and then i think i should rewatch the mask because it's been a million years you don't have to <laughs> like when, <laughs> when he's not the mask like when he's like himself he's so hot oh, hold on. like Let me what look this up. early 90s i'm gonna look this up Cameron, baby Cameron Diaz was in that. Oh, yeah. She was pretty hot, too. <laughs> Just not in Charlie's Angels. Who said that they didn't like her in Charlie's Angels? I've never seen Charlie's Angels. Oh, yeah. That's why it's on the list and it came back to well, me. Well, I said out of all of them, she'd be my least favorite one because Lucy Liu. I love Lucy Liu. Uh, then I yes. like Drew Barrymore. And then Cameron Diaz would probably be my. Okay. I was like, wait, someone doesn't like Cameron Diaz in that? I was like, I, she's not my favorite out of the three. Like, she's up bottom of the rankings, but I was I trying to well remember enough. that conversation. But yeah. Yeah. You should. You should watch it. Just not Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Because I think that's on the list. The, the second, second one. one. So I should watch the first one. Yeah, I would. Courtney Cox is in it. It doesn't hold up very well, though. But it does, yeah. Uh, there's very transphobic. Yeah. Very. Anything. But he's also hot in that, too. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just looked up a he's picture of him in the mask. He's top. hot. He's hot, right? Yeah, he's hot. Aye. Um, So, as Anyway, Elizabeth, shout out to you, Jim Carrey. Yeah. We love you. I love you. We love you. Now, I'm sorry I'm late. But I'm here, ain't I? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'm here, ain't I? Let me answer the last question. It was definitely worth the hype. We always ask this question at the end. Was it worth the hype? Absolutely. Uh, again, I will just reiterate what I said when I said I would recommend it. Like, I am sad that I did not watch it sooner, but also I am not mad because now I don't have to wait for the next film. And if you were to take a shot every time she said that, you would take three shots. And you wouldn't get totally fucked up. So go do your thing. But go take don't those shots. don't excessive drinking. Please. Bartender, bring out those shots. Stella, Stella, bring them out. Bring out the lemon drops. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's in this. It's called free. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody wake her up. She's sleeping over there. <laughs> no, let her sleep. Oh, I'm not really sleeping on the job. <laughs> <laughs> you go. She down. deserves it. A bonus. A raise. <laughs> <Promotion>. <laughs> 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 Anyways, uh, take it away, loser. Say goodbye. Bye, losers. <laughs> <laughs> and that concludes this episode of Sit Down, Loser. We're watching a movie. Catch you go- Catch get. <laughs> 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 got, gotta catch them all. <laughs> catch you all next time. Bye, bye, losers. <laughs> Got a blast. That was so <laughs> Good job. Because <laughs> you were just like, bye, losers. <laughs> I know. Bye, losers. Oh, it's I been too long. I was like, no. I got it. So this guy's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got this. <laughs> and that concludes. And then I dropped the ball completely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for concluding that. You're welcome. That was a great okay, ending. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, faster, faster. I don't know how the rest of that goes. And stop.